Hello, Bumtasedu. Welcome back to the chat with Dolphin. If you are new to this channel, click the subscription button. And I say, do not forget to share and like the video. So by now, we already know that this is a commentary channel where we talk about everything spirituality, Christianity, you name it, we bring it to this channel. So anyways, Nam and Jay, we are still doing a review on the current trending meta. Yeah, the brother Enigma. So for those who do not know, he's back again on the Daily Hustle, please go and check their channel i think the channel is uh, it has something to do with chris yes if i'm not mistaken so please go and check it out do not forget to share and you know like everything you see over there so anyways um today they spoke more about our prophet bushi rifles churches you know uh, you he spoke about a lot of things but does and we are going to you know talk about them hanyana, hanyana, ganyana, ganyana, right so anyways let's listen to what he had to say because this is kind of tricky and too sensitive but anyways let's Let's get to it. Kumana Gubushiri, Moba Uches Ute, Sin Boos or Sin Chair, if you don't know. Ubut in Jemoba Umtanaga Bushit, as soon as you didn't Tomazan. Bushiri knows well good to M. Catin by sacrificing Umtwa. So, in this work, if two Moba Uma Utwell, who sat on Maga figure, which had interviewed Tandai, Abunigas in Mali, which we are full. So, which is Utes and Booz of Bushiri? Where is your daughter? Bushiri, where is your daughter? Where is your daughter? Because we're sacrificing Agaco is ruin, Agaco is Hoku, Gunala, a seven is a corn. Umnigel is a sacrifice. So, Ubushiri, there's nothing that you can do. Begafun Guba famous or famous. I need to Uchinchana Momoi. Yeah. which is seen this for the second time. So again, which is where is your daughter? Because your daughter is not in hell, your daughter is not in heaven. Where is your daughter? Mm -hmm. Because we are paid a corn. Where is your daughter? So Abanda Basanta la Bazo Sala Bonke. Because if the leader is corrupt, Ibanda launch the Hambanga Lumoya Walumund. So Pumani lap because you are wasting your time. Ne ties any keep a lap numnige our pal is ruin. Moba is son to belongs to the devil. Amen. Then ge uches uti sibuza bantaba pila go to Gweza Gale in South Africa. By the time we na World Cup, like South Africa, yeah, World Cup, yeah, World Cup, 2010. Uma gutuwa, the World Cup ya Galaxas 2010. Magutuwa ya Galaxas, Sas. Today we basa de prayer today because Sas ya God. The day basa de prayer, we nomtuwa ni si zugu uluga mandel. Si shone on that day, it was the sacrifice. It was another sacrifice. I ask Ketel, I want to go to Batataban. I need to Sugunigi the Mandela, then to look at the way Fun, Ufuna World Cup is a la. That's where Bambi's Bati Una, Una Magic, Mante, Bati Una, Mateva Magic. Yeah. So in Magic there, it is because it is delivered by the demons. So again, yeah, in 2010, Ekala, tomorrow, this is the Gulu Saka Mandela safer today. So we just Uti Sitela Bantu, Siva Vula Melo, Womoya, wake up. Yes. What you just was booze about about the band in the capasta zondo, Bishop Zondo. Which is what is in booze? Sibuze and I, Bishop Zondo, so Yambuza manage in the social media. Pastor Zondo, Stephen Zondo, Papa was sister back, Moba Abeko Zulin, Abeko's Hokuin, Omnigero because of your name. Says one again. So Abanta Basanta in the church of Bishop Zondo. It's a rivers of living water. Pastor Zondo, your sister, both your sisters, Bashonil, Umnigel of a way now. Moba Abeko is Zulini, Abeko is Hokwe. Both of your sisters are not there. They are not in heaven, they are not in hell. Babu, Pi, Bala Gunigola Korn, Babegi, Basapit, Babegi, with some way, Umnigel, it's a sacrifice. And there you have it, Mantase, from the one and only, oh brother, Enigma. And like I said, it's been a lot. And I don't know. But anyways, let's just get into it. Oh brother, Enigma just explained.
exposed uh, Prophet Bushari's deepest secret that we didn't know of. And it was just a lot of fantasy. I don't think someone can lie like this, you know, especially when it comes to the sensitive topic, you know. So anyways, um, I don't know and I, I'm not sure how true this is. That's I'm just going to save myself and say uh, this is all alleged because, guys, one thing about our nation prophecies cannot be proven you know revelations from god cannot be proven uh, like it's your it's your word against uh, someone else and i don't know how these things work but i do believe if you are the chosen one by the lord these people that you are busy exposing will never lay their hand on you i don't know if i make sense so anyways yeah man let's get into it um because like i said this is quite sensitive because i have many questions i really have many questions you know um we are living in a society where we don't even know what is what and which one is which one you know so especially if you are a fan believer of prophets if you respect you know prophecies or prophets just like a v dolphin do you understand i believe because now you are just like me you are in a corner you are confused because you don't even know which one is which one at the end of the day so anyways um but as i want to say this we should refrain from you know coming on social media defending our men of god defending our church leaders in the name of you know worshiping them because once you defend that church leader it shows and it proves that whatever that people are saying about your leader is true it proves that it it is true when they say hore you are brainwashed you are being controlled by another serpent that you don't even know and the worst part about this story now you don't even know which you are inside a cult i always say this and this thing it's uh, this thing helped me so much i do i do remember it helped me so much sometimes it is good to listen with understanding as much as you don't like uh, this brother, as much as you disagree with this brother, learn to listen with your ear. At least allow yourself to understand before you come under the comment section and criticize him for teaching you the good way of living. I always say this, one thing about God, he won't give you the husband that you've been longing for. He, he won't give you the husband that you want, but he's going to give you the husband that he you need. I don't know if I make sense. So that's why it is so understandable when people come you know when people you know um tease this guy because he's not telling you what you want to hear he's actually telling you what you need to hear so learn to listen with an understanding and he even mentioned this on the podcast okuti guys when you receive this message please repent we repent each and every day because we are sinners. We make mistakes. We are perfect. We are not perfect unless there's someone out there who claims to be perfect. But Mina, I'm not perfect. I am a sinner. So anyways, um, Abanda say he even revealed uh, that apparently a prophet Bushiro sacrificed his own daughter, you know, for money, for wealth. Because the only way they're doing these churches, the only way they are opening these churches is not for them to stand in front of the congregation and preach or maybe, you know, heal people. It's not about the advantage. It's clear. The common goal is money. All they want is money. All they want is wealth in the name of what? In the name of God. So apparently, Prophet Bushir sacrificed his own daughter, allegedly, for money, for wealth. And I don't know how true this is, but if this is true, then Avantaze, this is fucked up. Uh, this is just a no-go for me like this is just a no-go for me and it proves indeed uh, the world is so wicked and come to think of it these churches that um he mentioned hey we've seen our we, i mean our president was spotted there our our ministers were spotted there and now i'm asking myself many questions <laughs> The moral of the, of the story, the moral of this interview, and one thing that I learned from this interview, repent before it is too late. 
repent. We are all sinners, my dear saying. There are certain things that we are doing, but we are not being aware of. Just like you go waking up in the morning, attending that church, just like you waking up in the morning, praying to that man of God's name, do you understand? You are sin. You, you are, you know, in a sin, but you don't know. So, um, does it take my advice? Pray, read your Bible, call the name Jesus, and one day that name Jesus will rescue you from evil. Trust me, believe me, I was there, I've been there, and even now I'm still going through that, you know, a horrible, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to put it, but one day I will be here to tell you my testimony. So anyways, yeah, man, um, that's one thing that I learned uh, today. Uh, comment down below and tell me what you think about it. And sorry, I'm trying to get right, but I had to make this commentary. Have a lovely day and I do love you. Honestly speaking, uh, this is not a toxic place to be. If you have a negative comment, please skip my videos. Tina Abanyu, we are not toxic just like you. If you don't like my videos, please skip. If you want the full video, please go to this channel. Obviously, you will see the video because at the end of the day, this is a commentary channel. Commentary channel where Dolphin shares her own input perspective. It's long. So anyways, have a lovely day. And I do love you. Stay tuned. Have a lovely day. Bye.